I'm going to be answering a question that you boys are too afraid to ask us females. Period. Before we get into this video, y'all already know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Turn on that bell so you never miss another upload. And let's get right into it. I have some questions in my little notes. Now I'm going to just be answering for y'all. For y'all curious dudes. Hold on, I'm thirsty. Okay, y'all. So I know y'all probably like this girl need to hurry up. But okay. Oh my god. Alright, so first question. Do women like arms or abs more? Well, Women, mainly women like abs more, but me personally, I like arms more. I love a good looking arm, like with the veins popping out and it's strong and thick looking. It's just, it's just a turn on, you know, it's a turn on. Do girls find it attractive when guys say they have a lot of options? Um, I honestly don't know about other girls, but well, I, I can't say that because not a lot of girls like that. A lot of girls feel like that's doing too much, that's showing off, that's unattractive. Like, no. Mm -mm. Nope. Don't do that. Do girls actually like dick pics? Uh, I don't know about other girls, but for me, me i'm not gonna answer that for myself i'm not gonna answer that but I, I would say other girls um i would say they like it yeah i mean i'm pretty sure they talk about it in their group chats but um is it okay to wake you up in the middle of the night for a sex session hmm a lot of girls need their beauty rest like like me for instance i need my beauty rest i need my sleep i'm tired if i'm in the bed that's what i'm there for to sleep at night if i'm in the bed sleeping that's what i'm doing okay don't wake me up unless i'm ready to get up period but i can say some girls like it some girls be tired most of us girls love our beauty rest so um why do women go to the bathroom together um mostly to freshen up together take pictures twerk you know different little stuff and plus like the bathroom isn't always safe you know so we have to travel in groups period does size matter yes it does i'm not gonna even think about it it matters why is it so hard to talk women into sex because when you first meeting a girl when a girl first meeting you that's not what she's there for at first she's there to get to know you she's there to vibe she's not there to just fuck unless she's just that type of girl that's just that's all she's looking for but if it's hard to talk to her talk her into sex it's obviously because she wants to just talk to you she just wants to get to know you first she just wants to vibe she just wants to chill she's not thinking about no sex right now okay life is not all about sex especially when you first meet somebody like come on now anyways <laughs> crazy tell selves like why can't women never decide what to eat um there's so many options and most women they don't really know exactly what they want because they don't really have 
a specific like taste for anything like they're, they're just hungry like and and plus women us women we get tired of choosing the restaurant the meal all the time we get tired of doing that like but me i ain't gonna lie i'm always wanting chick-fil-a if we go out if me and my boyfriend go out i'm always wanting chick-fil-a i don't be wanting nothing else but chick-fil-a if we're going out to eat period because like that's the only restaurant i like like that's the only restaurant i feel like has quality food you know that answer your question okay better have what do women keep in their purse lotion lip gloss panty liners pads uh tampons mace um what you call that thing taser um gum their money cards you know important stuff like that what do you keep in your um well y'all don't carry around shit so um Dang, why do women wear such provocative clothing but complain about creepy people checking them out? Well, you have those women that are very comfortable and confident in their body and they just want to show, show their body off without being molested or without being creeped on. You know, that's possible. It's possible for women to go out there. Well, it's not possible, but it should be a thing where women go out with whatever they want bothered. Like, but uh, the other side of that is honestly, you can't do that and expect people to just like, you know, look at you for, you know, the energy because they don't know you. All they see is ass and titties and a shape, a nice shape. That's all they see. Like, they don't know you, so of course they're gonna be like, damn, she, ooh. Like, of course they're gonna be like that. Of course, you can't get mad, sis. You don't wanna walk out the house with that on. You the one decided to do that. Do not blame them. Do not blame them, because at the end of the day, they do not know you. They are, they are, they are judging you by what they see, okay? And then like, yeah, it's like two sides to that. Like, you have those people that think that way. You have those people that think women should be confident in themselves and yeah honestly me i'm on both sides but me personally i will not dress i will not dress like that you will not catch me in nothing like that especially because i'm finna be a mom now i'm not finna be dressing like that hell no i have respect for myself i have morals for myself i'm not finna be showing nothing plus i'm in a whole relationship like no but yes y'all that answered your question i hope it did because i'm done with that um can we split the bill? Now, I feel like that's weird as hell. If you're going out with your girl, it's either you paying or she's paying. If y'all paying for y'all own meal, that's weird. It's like, what? Like, no, 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 no. You, we cannot split the bill. Either I'm paying or you paying. Okay? Okay. And no, I don't have a bra spot. My hair is right here. It's just a little thin right there because they be hair bitches. Okay, next question is what's the liquid that be in the panties? Sweetheart, that's discharge. Okay. And it can range from clear to white. The, if it's white. Okay, if it's white and it it comes with itching and the stench then that's not good but if it's just white and there's nothing else then that you're healthy you know you're healthy down there but it's mostly clear and white if it's any color like gray brown pink green that's nasty you need to get that checked out you need to wash okay something is not right down there and no okay you need to get that checked out okay moving on um do women look at other women's booty of course we do and like this me it don't even be intentional like oh i'm gonna go outside and look at some ass today no it don't be intentional we just you know a girl happens to walk by 
she's looking good of course we're going to look we're females you know that's what we do y'all men do it i'm pretty sure y'all be looking at other niggas i'm pretty sure y'all be looking at other niggas like not in no gay way y'all just be looking just to look just like us females we look just to look now some females are really out there that's gay and they you know they like what they see you know i'm not saying i don't like what i see but i'm not finna just be you know looking at you weirdly i mean i'll glance and that's it anyways um Should we tell women if their kitty stinks? Yes, you should. If, okay. Yeah, this right here is that type of question that's like proven if you're loyal or not. Like, if you're down or not. Like, you should tell your girl if she stinks. If you don't tell her that she stinks, if you don't tell the girl that you're talking to that she stinks, then what type of relationship do y'all have? Like, where is the trust? Like, y'all supposed to be like cool to the point where you could tell each other about yourself and it don't be no problem but anyway other than that the girl should know that she stinks like how you don't like how you don't smell yourself like you should already know you should already be taking your baths every day your showers every single day like you should be good like you shouldn't be around nobody with a stink cooch like no that's not cool that's not good that is no that's disgusting now, if you just think and you can't get rid of the odor, then I don't know what to tell you. But, yeah, definitely tell your girl she stinks if she does. And you girls out there, definitely wash down there, okay? So you can just avoid that altogether because, okay. Shit, guys, make the first move. That, that is like... That's like a double standard question, no. That does not matter. It doesn't matter who makes the first move, okay? Like, y'all need to stop with the double standard stuff, okay? Okay. It does not matter who makes the first move. It does not matter who leans in first. It does not matter who talks to who first. It does not matter who DMs who first, okay? Grow up. This is 2021. We are grown now, okay? All right. And the last question, how does it feel to be on your period? Honestly, it feels like death. Like, most women will tell you this. We go through pain, we go through cramps, bleeding, we go through cravings, we go through attitudes. Well, me personally, I don't have an attitude when I'm on it. And I don't really have any necessary cravings. I just bleed and I just cramp for one day and that's it. I only cramp for the first day. And then the rest of my days be good and then I just be bleeding. But I really hate periods because I don't like blood just on me, period. Coming out of me, period. Like, especially if it's in an area where I'm always, you know, have something on. Like, it's not a breathable area all the time. Like, my arms, if it's not just out i don't want to just be bleeding not like no no that's uncomfortable that's it's nasty it's a nasty feeling i don't like tampons i don't like diva cups i'm not sticking none of that unhealthy stuff up me so i'd rather just let it flow out of me even though it's uncomfortable but yeah okay if you really enjoyed this video if you really learned something new about us females go ahead and like this video period subscribe turn on that bell baby follow my social medias and we is out